Hello and welcome back, this is Protel Dev back with another Dungeon Farm Tycoon game and what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at everything I've done in the last week or so. Um, this week has been a very hectic one, I've been trying to get a lot of things done with this game, uh, mainly because I gave myself a deadline for the end of November to the start of December and it's now almost uh, December, it's only two days until the 1st of December so I'm trying to get into this and trying to get through this and trying to get as much as I can done. Luckily the game is almost finished, really there's only audio that needs to be added in, uh, but for now I'll just go over all the things that I've done. Um, so at the bottom left this X wouldn't show pro correctly and when it runs out it would uh, reappear, it's now working correctly, the X is there when needed um, and, and whenever I run out of durability it will completely turn blank um, so that it's no longer available and you'll be able to see it. The next fix was actually in the collision box in the start room. You just saw there that you had the button at the top. Um, you could, before it wasn't working, you could access the button wherever you were. Now it's working, the collision is fixed in the start rooms. Uh, another thing is that the health has been rounded up. So when the inside of a dungeon, you would have your health reach zero potentially. Um, that's because it was uh, going to the nearest hole number. Now it's rounding up to the nearest hole number. So now if, even if it's if it's 0.1%, you should have a 1% a show uh, instead of just it being zero. Another thing is that the ranged weapons were actually spawning too high. Now they're fixed. Um, so the spawning on on your ranged weapons, so things like the air piercing being too high, or the knives, they're all, they're all fixed now because the spawning has now been lowered to their feet, to sort of, um, because the character's position on the sprite is actually a lot wider than you'd expect. Um, so yeah, now it's spawning a lot in the correct position. Uh, another thing was that uh, in dungeons, um, monsters would actually be spawning in the incorrect place. So if... A dungeon was in here what I would be doing is creating a specific room let's say one of these and I would spawn in a monster and unfortunately it would um, not spawn into the dungeons uh, prefab um, now now that's been fixed so now you won't get a f huge amount of clutter in here and it's actually controlling the specific dungeon necessary Another thing is that uh, the smoke on the throwing dagger was not visible before, now it is. That was just a sorting issue and that's now fixed as well. If I were to create um, a specific area, usually a, a lock would appear, which is what these icons are here for. Um, a lock would block off areas for specific rooms and corridors. Uh, that wasn't working for some reason. I'd broken it uh, earlier in a few updates ago and now it's uh, been refixed. So now whenever you create a new room, or a corridor it should put the lock on if it's not connected to any other kind of room okay so that's all of the fixes done very very quickly now we're on to the changes so the first thing I want to talk about is that the rating has been modified now so buildings uh, and building upgrades so things like this um, have now been modified to increase it by three times the amount uh, this is because the rating was just too low before uh, as you can see the rating is maybe too high now it's, it's hard to balance it a little bit but ultimately, um, it's now been just completely rebalanced uh, to be a little bit better. The lights on site on the the signs that are on these shops, uh, when you place them down, um, they now glow when it's nighttime, and then when it's daytime, they'll switch off. So previously, when the player died, what would happen is the level would restart. And now, when the player dies, what will happen is it will just kick you out out of the dungeon and reset the player. You'll also take a penalty of either 50 to 100 gold, depends on the dungeon difficulty. Um, you'll take a huge penalty of gold if you die, so it can be very, very uh, devastating. But obviously you can earn a lot more gold when you're in the dungeon killing monsters, so that's a positive. Pathing for NPCs has now been changed. Um, it now updates every one second using the repeated inv evoke instead of using an update. Um, update means that if the game was at 60 frames per second, what would happen is that the game would um, essentially do that code 60 times, um, obviously per second, that's that's too many times that I need, I do not need that much and that's a lot of the time with the code. Uh, this is also why people don't use the update function very much because you can just evoke uh, repeating at the very start and um, you can control it a lot more. Essentially, I've put it to one second. That means it only does it once every second as opposed to 60 times a second. Um, that is much more efficient and optimized. The next big thing is that the player's uh, UI has been updated. It's been changed. 
Um, if I quickly create a dungeon and go in, you'll see at the bottom right and left, I, I showed it a minute ago, you now have the UI that looks a little bit different. It looks a bit more stylish, a bit more connected. Uh, we do have multiple different styles going on, but that's partly because, you know, I don't have an artist, so I have to kind of improvise and make them um, and just kind of bring them in to connect them a little bit more. But um, ultimately, I think this looks a little bit nicer for the bottom UI. So this is the health, stamina, uh, which we'll go over in a minute, the uh, water and food. And then we have the bottom left, which is the durability, which I think looks quite nice. Monsters now move a lot more slowly than they did previously as well. So inside the dungeons, I'm not going to show it, but uh, monsters now move quite significantly. I would say about 50% slower than they were before. None of the monsters actually move at the same speed as the player. Some of them did and some of them were actually faster than the player. Um, I found that when I was testing this, it just didn't work. Players would just die um too many times so i i've made it so that the monsters are much more slower but maybe their aoe's are bigger um and it gives it gives players more time to be able to get uh, get away from damage and things like that weapon durability has also been increased uh quite a lot um it's been increased by over 100 percent, so double what it previously was and um, so now you can use weapons much longer i found it was just too short before and the resources you need to then make the weapon again is just too expensive at the moment and um, so increasing the durability was a really important thing so i've increased it um so that it lasts a lot longer um, as I mentioned before, the percentage is now different on the durability. Um, if I quickly show that off again by going in adventure, you can see down here that it, although it might be a little bit small, it says 100%. Um, so there is a percentage now instead of actual number. I did like the number previously, but I think it's just not as interactive and obvious as, pre, uh, as just having it as a percentage. It's easier to... Um, figure out how much you've got left by just percentage and it just looks a lot better as opposed to a number as you can see down here i am getting a few errors and that's with the new dialogue manager it might be a little bit distracting at the moment but uh, this is just a slight issue with something i'm working on currently uh, the dialogue manager i'll talk about in a minute uh, but it's actually not complete yet which is why i'm getting errors so just a quick heads up uh, the monster size has also been changed so it's a lot they're actually smaller now so they they match specific dungeons a little bit better uh, the last thing to mention which you saw before is that the player's light uh, intensity has been lowered inside dungeons this is because it was just too bright before i think it's a little bit easier to just um show off that it's a little bit harder to see i might even change it even more so i might even make it harder to see even more than it is now Okay, so now we're on to the new stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show off the weapons uh, stamina a little bit better. Uh, let's do this with just the, I don't know, the dagger. And we'll show this with a, uh, the throwing dagger. Just equip those and we'll go and start a dungeon. So let's quickly create a basic dungeon. Let's put that there. Uh, let's go straight into the editor. I don't know. Let's um, add in a one small room and let's add in a monster and let's go straight into the adventure so now we as you can see at the bottom left we've got our percentage we've got our uh, weapon and what we can do is we can go and hunt our monster and you'll see immediately that when i attack the stamina goes down You'll see when I attack, the stamina does go down. And you can only attack when the stamina is back to full. Uh, this is important, especially for later weapons, because certain weapons use more durability than others. Um, as my, You can also see my durability is going down, so it is all working. Oh, God, taking damage from the geyser. So if I keep attacking, I'm spamming it right now, but you um, hopefully, I don't know if you can hear it, but you, it only attacks when my stamina is essentially back to 100%, which is really important. So that's another thing that's done. Also, when I'm inside this dungeon, the, um, the, the speed for the world is set back to normal. So before, what would happen is that once you entered a... a into adventure mode into the dungeon you would still be at a fast speed because uh, to allow the world to continue unfortunately this meant that you it was just too fast in here so I, well, every time you come back into the dungeon it sets it back to normal also uh, the character's uh, sprite actually changes when inside the dungeon um if i change uh let's change to a different person let's go into a female knight 
if I now go into the dungeon, you'll see that my uh, appearance has now changed to a knight. Monsters now have new pixel art um, attacks and um, specific AoE um, icons and things uh, that I've added into the game specifically just for uh, visuals. Like this guy has now got geysers that actually come up. You can see them, they're like rock uh, with, with water pouring out. Um, the effect is still there, it's just a little bit of a bonus. Uh, so if I quickly pause here and just go into prefabs and then I just go into monsters and attacks you'll see that we've got a bunch of new kind of effects so this thing hopefully if I just stop playing you'll see that this is the slam so when the monster the plant troll does a slam these um, these plants will come out you've got the mud patch for the mud monster you've got this slime patch uh, this slime puddle for the slime uh, green slime the geyser which is this rock in the middle um, and a few other things like the bone as well has also changed. Uh, a couple of fixes as well. I, I didn't mention that the air piercer is now facing the right way when you shoot it. That was a quick fix as well. The next thing is that the monsters menu has now been rearranged with difficulty. So this is an easy, easy thing to show if I quickly, quickly go into our editor and quickly go to monster section. You'll see that we now have the normal, uh, the novice, advanced and expert difficulty. Um, so the easy ones and then you got the somewhat easy but then the really difficult ones which do the most damage the hardest to avoid um, so this is going to make it a little bit easier to kind of create your dungeon the way you want it in uh, including its difficulty and how much health these monsters are going to have so just more of a quality of life chain uh, addition now the next thing I want to show is right in here you'll notice that this whole menu is now um, there's a bunch of new added stuff in here and that is because we now have the monster section all finished so the first one is the connectors which is all these corridors let's put a couple of these down these are all working by the way so let's just do this um, let's do that and that and immediately yes the all the locks should be working but let's move on to the next section so the next section is the small rooms you'll see these are all completed now as well so i can put one up here and i can put another kind of entrance way and maybe one of these in here and you can see that these are all now working um i can add as many of these as i want um this is actually broken and i don't know if i'll have time to fix it and hopefully i do i will have time but we'll see uh, next we have the medium rooms the medium rooms get slightly bigger, so if I put one down here, you can see it's slightly bigger than a normal entrance room. And you have, um, you know, this hall like we saw, like we saw in the past. Some of these bigger rooms, but also a bunch of new additional rooms which you'll have to explore. This one's called the uh, Toxic River, um, and you got the medium rooms and things, uh, which again all work as well. So you can put these in. Uh, and then finally, we have the large rooms the large rooms are just as you expect they're massive and um, really going to be fun to be able to battle really hard monsters in here um, and then you've got the really really big extreme room right here in the large sections you have the toxic diamond the uh, lava the lava hall which is my favorite um, then we also have the uh, function blocks the function items um, which are things like traps that damage you and monsters and an exit a custom exit item uh, so i can place this down and place that down in here let's see if we can like fill our room right there with a bunch of these items and what you can do is the the exit has the same function as the normal ent entrance here right here so you can just exit however you want and the spikes as i mentioned does damage uh, next we have the light so dungeon lighting so we have a torch which is a little bit too big at the moment but you place this down um, and fill up rooms with like lighting uh, you also have the crystal lighting which is much more expensive but will fill up a much bigger area um, at the moment the range uh, for placing items down is actually quite big from the entrance i increased it to just for testing uh, purposes uh, but i could do with like maybe bringing that back down so yep we can bring these in here and have unique lighting 
Uh, next we have the um, obstacles. So these are things you can run around and dodge uh, and use to your advantage. So things like this hole or these uh, stockpile objects. Whoa, I've not. That's not happened before. I I presume that I've broken the rigid body on the um, this object and it's interacted with something that's caused a crazy collision. Okay, okay. So you, you get the point. Um, and what I'm going to show is I can't. I, I'm a bit afraid to sh put these down. So what I'll do is hopefully it won't break anything. There we go. So we got a skull patch there. Uh, the hole was also working. Uh, for some reason the stock isn't, but we've also got these crates that you can place down as well. Um, and of course we have the monsters that you can place down okay so that's the dungeon out the way next is um, the main menu uh, so now there's a main menu it's not very advanced or anything it's it's just a simple menu for now I might change it I might edit it or add some stuff to it but at the moment I just needed a basic menu to have the functionality in there and so all you can do is just press play and it'll start the level um, and then we're straight into the first one okay that is everything that I've done, and it is quite a lot to cover. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too crazy to, you know, show. Um, there are still a lot of bugs, as you just saw, um, and I've only just finished the dialogue. Hopefully, there'll be a bunch more levels uh, the next time I show this game off. So, hopefully, next video will be audio, uh, new levels uh, with objectives, and finally, hopefully, a lot of the bugs will be fixed. Um, with that. Um, most of the game will be finished and then it's just fine tuning, uh, balancing um, and just changing minor things. So this has been Protail Dev and I'll see you next time.